Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Natalie is a Don. This is Shadow Fury 333, your host, and we're going to be having some exhibition matches between Flipstep and Orphelius on Red Comet. Well, okay, first one, exhibition matches, first one will be Orphelius versus Flipstep on Red Comet. Which I should probably point out. So, yeah, this is. This is the most recent version, and one of the things that has come up recently is dynamic lighting, which I know sounds really kind of meh, but. Seriously, it's awesome. Like, I know, it's it's a long time coming, but yeah. Zero K has dynamic lighting. Hooray! It's really cool. But anyway, yeah, so we'll be a match between Flipstep and Orphelius. And let's begin, because what else is there to say? Flipstep going for light vehicles, Orphelius going for heavy tanks. Pretty much a typical red comet match. Orphelius being a bit more aggressive starting out in the center, while Flipstep moderately aggressive starting out in the northeast corner, but closer to the center. So, actually, this is a bit more defensive. Never mind. Yeah, they're, as I mentioned before, the northeast and southwest are kind of defensive because there's only one corner to defend, but it makes it harder to get to the center area a little bit. Whereas where Orphelius is, they can more easily build back here, assuming they manage to get everything else built up. So Orphelius right now, just going for a pretty typical setup. They aren't going aggressive at all, which is kind of surprising given their forward position, but yeah, they definitely want to make sure they can hold the area in the corner later. And certainly make sure they can hold the center. Which... Yeah, like I said, it's a positional thing. It's a bit weird. Honestly, I kind of agree more with Flipstip's approach. Like, I've seen people play in the center compared to playing in the corner, and the corner really is a safer way of going. And you get the three metal extractors right away rather than just two here. Usually, as you can see what Flipstip is doing, where they go to the north afterwards, or center through the north side, and the south, of course, center, center through the south side. And while there are these choke points right here, it's still kind of iffy, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's just because Orphelius isn't going heavily aggressive in this game. And I'm thinking, well, the center, that's an aggressive position, right? While well, Flipstep is going quite aggressive, and while, yeah, they're not expanded to the center as quickly, whereas Orphelius is expanded to the southwest, which is kind of what I'm talking about, really, it's not a matter of whether or not they position themselves in a certain way. Flipstep just didn't go for an additional mason. Like, they don't have any more workers. They have their commander and that's it. Orphelius, on the other hand, started out with a welder. So Orphelius is getting a massive economy boost, but playing heavy tanks, they have to, because heavy tanks are quite expensive. So you kind of need the economy, need the defense, need the economy. The welders hold their own just fine, so you don't need to worry too much about building up. But yeah, early raiding with heavy tanks doesn't really go super... Okay, you have to be careful. It can go well, but you have to be careful. Kodachi's can do a really good job, but they have to make sure not to stay in combat. Panthers can do a pretty good job, both raiding and anti-raiding, but they aren't, as you can see, super quick. They're quick, but, well, darts are scout units, so yeah, that's how it goes. But once again, Panthers can do a decent job. It's just, a lot of the time with Heavy Tank, because you're really trying to build up to Reapers and trying to build up to Banishers, trying to build up to those heavy units that you can use to just plow through your opponent's forces, that usually nullifies any need to have anything else. And Orphelia is finally going over. And watching this game apparently being bored. Oh, no, they're just... Never mind. <sighs> and first first blood goes to Orphelius. Nicely done there. So Orphelius probably not going to harass. Really, it's Orphelius on the defensive. Flipstep on the offensive. Flipstep is getting caught up economy-wise. They do have the Mason. They do have this center area pretty much taken. They just have to actually capture those metal extractors, but it's in their territory pretty solidly. And Flipstep is not able to break into Orphelius' lines, which is exactly what Orphelius wants. Although Orphelius at 21... Oh, 15 energy, though. That's a problem, which Orphelius is fixing. Okay, they are aware of this, at least. It's not a complete problem. They've got that... Pretty sorted out, and a nice little wall of solar collectors, too. And they're angling it towards the edge! This is exactly the way I always say to do it. Angle it towards the edge so that the opponent comes in and then tries to go over here and gets caught out. And then has to turn back, and they're caught in this little alcove. Not quite as aggressive as I like to do it, but it's still, it's still a nice wall setup. I like it. Not sure how effective that'll be. Because Orphelius is starting, sorry, Phillips is starting over the northeast, so they're not, I mean, they might come around the southeast, they might decide to take a unit down, 
uh, this way and go through here, but I kind of doubt it. Anyway, Flipsnip getting hit. Orphelius on the counterattack. All right, that was a little unexpected, but Orphelius is going to try to figure out what they can break in, what they can raid. And there's not that confident. They could actually go in a little further. Not much, but their Panthers are still doing okay. They could at least scout out a bit, see that the slashes are there. I don't know if Orphelius has knowledge. Okay, they know the radar is there. They know units exist. They don't know what they are. And for symmetry's sake, Flipstip does not know where Orphelius is at all. They, they pretty much have complete ignorance about Orphelius. Other than what they've already seen. But they don't know the radar. They don't know the current locations. And Orphelius, are they going around the side? I think maybe. Nope, continuing to expand. Continuing just to build up. They have their energy up. 30 metal. I would expect they're going to start building up Reapers at some point, but... Nothing so far. What the? Ah, there we go. Banishers? Okay. Not really the best option against Slashers. I mean, really, they, they aren't. Reapers would actually do okay. They are not a bad option, though. They will work. Leveler's Dominatrix on the field? Okay, never mind. The Dominatrix is on the field. Orphelius doesn't know this, but that is going to help justify the Banisher. Because at least it'll be less money lost to the Dominatrix if all goes poorly. Well, if all goes well for Flipstip... Orphelius will at least be able to survive, more or less. And hey, lights! Uh, Alright, they fixed the lights with the explosions. Initially, there wasn't light on all the explosions, and now there are lights. Apparently. Hopefully that's a universal thing. I have been keeping up too much. But yeah, that... Okay. It's shiny! Just slightly bugged, but shiny! <laughs> It's shiny nonetheless. And Felicity and Orphelia is pretty even on economy. Orphelius going to try to fix that. See how that goes. It's actually pretty... Oh, and that's where the problem comes in. The Dominatrix is coming in. And one of them, well, took over Panther. Second Panther is fine. It manages to get away. All right. Still kind of scary. Flips to... Flips up kind of on point there. Orphelius with the gunship plant, which will probably come in for either... Well, probably be Banshee. I mean, Nat or Blastwing would make a lot of sense to get rid of the Dominatrix and avoid any capture. But I think Banshee will probably be the way to go just because that's a... Or Rapier. Because that's such a common thing. It's like, gunship plant for Banshee or Rapier. That's just what you do. In this one situation, for the Dominatrixes, I think that it would be better to go for later units. But Rapiers will do fine. Rapiers, rapiers are also a good choice. And it's a more general choice, so I understand why Orphelius is doing that. That's They want to make sure they cover their bases. And apparently in chat they're pointing out they actually forgot Blast Wings existed. Okay, that also makes sense. It can be easy to forget of their existence. Okay, these dominate. How many are there? Five so far! Sheesh! And one more in production? Yeah, this is a big part of Flip's of strategy. They also have a gunship land going. Orphelius with three rapiers so far. They might want to hurry with the air support because at this point, Flipstip is just running wild. Orphelius doesn't have any more tanks. Or they have some tanks coming up. They have reapers coming up. But they need these dominators. He's gone. And Flipstip does not care. They have no respect for Orphelius right now. None whatsoever. Like Flipstip doesn't care. Flipstip is pretty sure it's going to be fine. I mean... Why not? They can just capture metal extractors, capture everything. Heck, capture the factory. That would be cheeky as hell, but why not? I mean, these dominatrices are doing a good job. This is where air support is really needed to kill the dummies, because at this point, the dominatrices are getting loads of value. Every single one of these panthers they capture and kill, that's a kill. I mean, it's not great value necessarily, because the panthers aren't attacking, but it's still value. It, it's... Panthers are 300. Dominatrices, dominatrices are 400. Dominatrices are 400. So, basically, capturing a panther and getting it to die, the domini doesn't quite pay for itself, but it's close. Capturing one of the banishers and, and forcing it to die, that's even better. Luckily for Aphelia's flips have got a little out of position there. A couple dominatrices die. Still more in pro active production. Absolutely in active production. And the rapiers, 
still being built up. We have how many so far? It looks like eight. Nine. We have nine rapiers. Oh, wait. One of them is in production. So yeah, eight rapiers active right now. Coming in. Probably going to try to get rid of the dominatrices. Like I said, not a bad idea. Should be able to work okay against the levelers. Will... Oh. They're... Well, yeah, they're working fine against the levelers. The dominatrices, however, are becoming a threat. One of the rapiers not quite captured yet. Actually, one of them was captured. But, worked out anyway. However, still losing a rapier in the process. Flipsips commander under attack. Is it going to die? I think not. I mean, machine gun commander, the commander itself, level 4, disruptor bomb as well. It's moving pretty fast. It's, yeah, it's got auto repair. It's got a bunch of extra HP. It's fine. These rapiers are with enough support, maybe, but Flipstep should be okay. Their bigger concern is going to be the south area. Actually, you know what? No, Flipstep's commander's still down. Didn't quite have enough defenses to fall back to. Orphelius lost a lot, though, in the process. And Flipstep's still ahead in economy. Still presenting quite a bit of a threat. That banisher not quite able to get... Oh, no! Missed the dominatrix. But it worked out for Flipstep anyway. What the? I thought... Oh, this is an engine 101. Sorry. The next engine apparently fixed... If you notice that the explosion that happened in the Dominatrix where it was a bunch of triangles flying out, apparently the next engine actually makes it pieces of the unit, which will be really awesome. I haven't tested that myself. I have it downloaded, but I haven't... I don't tend to blow up units on my dev copy. But, yeah. Apparently that's a new thing, which will be awesome. Just pointing that out. So, Orphelius... Managed to regain some terrain, but not building. They, they have care. They have a couple of caretakers, but the gunship plant's not building anything. The heavy tank factory building stuff, but no caretakers or anything. There are workers around, aren't there? How many work? There are three. There are three welders, just scattered around the map, not building anything. Flip step with a counterattack, and they are using their money. They're totally using their money. And Raper's coming in to get rid of the brawlers. I don't see this working especially well. It will force... It, okay, it's forcing them back. I mean, Rapiers are a fairly good all-purpose unit. I just... I don't know. I feel like Orphelius is relying a lot on them. And as soon as Tridents come out, which there they are, the Rapiers are hooped. Like, the Crashers as well. Like, the Rapiers just have nothing to go off at this point. So, Flipstip right now, they are being extremely efficient with their money. Actually, no, they're not. As I say that, they're accessing like mad. Okay, never mind. Neither player is really managing to be efficient with their cash. And apparently both players are just rusty. Fair enough that I can't really fault them too much. Rust is a thing. As much as I am loath to admit it for myself, it is a thing. Like how many races does Flipstep have right now? So Flipstep is prepared. Razors are the best choice. I mean, Rapier's bit of a problem. Banshees are coming up, but not in large numbers. Primarily Tridents. And Blast Wings! We finally see that Orphelius is... No, never mind. Flipstep's going for Blast Wings, not Orphelius. Flipstep... Flipstep knows what's up. What are they doing the Blast Wings? Okay, they aren't stacking the Blast Wings yet. I figured there was going to go one Blast Wing per Metal Extractor, but no! Getting rid of a front line area here, or at least trying to burn it out. And that Razor not able to do much. Good to know Orphelius. I mean, Orphelius... Good for them. They have the Razor up. That will help against the Brawlers. Or at least set up a no-fly zone, which is exactly what they want. But unfortunately, did those the gunships just went on fire. They flew into the fire. Those gunships want to die, apparently. Or at least they're so pyromaniacal, which makes no sense for a slow missile firing gunship. But apparently, the Rapier really wants to shoot fire. Or really just wants to be on fire. It just loves fire. That's the only explanation. That's all. That's all I got. And Flipstep, let's see, North Line, they have a well, whole Dominatrix setup. South Line is undefended, or Philly is getting broken through with Ravagers. And a Wolverine for extra support, because why not? And Orphelius with the gunship support, leaving the north side open. Flipstep, if they come in here, the Dominatrices should be able to take out the Banishers and Reapers, or take over the Banishers and Reapers. That'll work beautifully. And other than that, it's... Yeah, there we go. There's the Dominatrix attempt, and it's not working! Orphelius getting 
some headway. Really good for them, but then, of course, we see the Banshees, but we have, I mean, the Banishers are in play, so that those Banshees aren't going to last too long. Like a bit of a retreat, and then, yeah, that still works out. Like, Banishers are awesome units. That's the thing. Banishers are great for anti-air, great for anti-riot. They're, especially against Banshees. Because Banshees try to move around a lot, and they don't really care about too much. They dodge attacks pretty easily, but homing attacks, no. Granted, most anti-air is homing, but Banisher is also good for ground. So, Banishers are awesome. Although, to be fair, I'm pretty sure a Cobra would do perfectly fine. But Banishers are more flexible. So at this point, bit of a stalemate. Flipstep, going for a chainsaw, wanting to make sure they have air dominance. They're really focusing on anti-ground air, though. Like, Trident for anti-air, Brawler for anti-ground, or Phileas, on the other hand, with the mixed army. Rapier, Rapier Trident, and some Banshee, I think, or at least they had them at some point. They were working on the Banshees for a little while, but it's kind of gone now. And that is pretty much another nice attack. Flipstip trying to stop this again. The Brawlers are being a bit of a problem. The Banishers can't really deal with them. They can deal with basically everything else, but not the Brawlers so well. And that's what the Tridents are for, but the Tridents are not in position. This outside, once again, open. Is Flipstep going to take advantage of that? It looks like no. They are not, apparently. They're really focused on the north side. Orphilius trying to break out of there. Pushing heavily with their... I mean, they have... They're, they have 70 metal per second. They're pushing hard with that, too. Getting all the money they can. I mean, they've got an economic advantage here. Flipstep pretty much only spending about 40. Orphilius just... Hmm. I think they probably could break in at this point. I realize the Dominatrices are kind of scary, but... Oh, if they had Banshees right here. I mean, the Rapiers will do okay, but if they had Banshees to get rid of these Raptors, that would be awesome. That would be great to see, but I don't think they do. They have one. Oh, they have three? No, there are three. Two of them belong to Flipstip. Okay, Orphilus is being rather timid here. Okay, I mean, the Dominatrices would make anyone timid, so I can totally see that, but the last time they fought the Dommies, they actually won. Orphilius had no problems. The Dominatrices did deal some damage, but that was fine. Like, or didn't even deal damage. They captured, I think, maybe one unit, and then that Dominatrix was killed immediately afterwards, just nullifying the capture completely. I don't understand what the... what it is. Oh, Orphilius pointing out, neither player made artillery. That's true, but neither of you really needs to. There's a lot of anti-air. There's not a whole lot of stingers. No Stardusts or anything, like... Yeah, artillery would be nice, and there was one Wolverine made, but frankly, I don't think it's that big of a concern. There's just a lot that's here already that they, this can pound through a... This can just go through defenses. Reaper and Banisher Ball? Yeah, that's going to punch through defenses pretty easily. Not much is going to hold in the ways. A few... Okay, a bunch of stingers might. Beyond that, not much. So really, there's no real reason... Other than the fear of Dominatrix, which, like I said, is a relatively reasonable fear. But even then, that's about it. The Brawlers can be taken care of by the Tridents. Where are those Tridents? Granted, there is an anti-air setup. There is a Razor here. But the Tridents should have enough range. What? Yeah, they have enough range. They can easily get rid of these Brawlers. Just Orphilius pull back. It looks like they're pulling back, trying to bait the Brawlers out. Flipstiff not falling for it. No, Flipstip knows there's going to be anti-air. They don't want to go over Ophelius' lines. Smart move there. It's like, yeah, I know there's a chainsaw. The chainsaw's over here. The chainsaw doesn't have the range to reach over to the north side. So Ophelius pointing out in the chat that there's a chainsaw. That is anti-air artillery. Yes, it is. And is it on hold fire? It should show. Okay. I'm supposed to be able to hold shift to show state and such. I'm not sure if that works for fire state and move state. I thought it did. And at this point, strider switch? Oh yeah, scorpion coming up for flip step. Orphilius having lost a bit of economy, but really not much. Their army is relatively strong. I mean, how many reapers? Seven reapers so far. They've got a strider's worth of reapers right there. That giant reaper ball. The dominatrices 
Oh, they're out of position too! Oh, this would be perfect timing. And Flipsip doesn't notice this. And even if they do, they'd have to move the dummies out of the way. And Orphelius goes for this. Orphelius... Okay, Flipsip knows that this is coming. Orphelius... Should, but apparently doesn't. No, they don't have... Orphelius doesn't have much radar right now. They just rebuilt some radar. And... Oh, those dominatrices causing some issues. But even then, mostly the brawlers being a problem. And that's where the Razors come in. Still a bit of an issue, but honestly, this... This looks like a pretty strong attack here. The Scorpion got him in a stun, stun out, and Orphalia is not at all aware of this. The Reapers should still be able to deal with this Scorpion without too much issue, but unfortunately there's a lot of support force. Reaper versus Scorpion will be fine, but with all the support for, for, for the Reapers, I should say. But with all the support forces, this is going to be a bit of a problem. And even then, the Scorpion's still going down. The Dominatrix, once again, causing more problems. If those Rapiers could just... Like, if they targeted the Dominatrices, took them out directly, and just generally, if the Dominies were targeted, I think that's kind of the problem. I mean, look, the Brawler's being targeted here, not the Dommies. I don't know if that's an auto-targeting thing. I don't think it is. And I guess I can see Orphelius' point about artillery, but even then, I don't know why the Dominatrices aren't being targeted. And now, finally, for Orphelius... Wait, what is the chainsaw range? Oh, yeah, okay, the chainsaw range is actually pretty big. Yeah, so that's the chainsaw range. Mentioned before... That's not a chainsaw, this is a chainsaw. That's the chainsaw range there, too. So, okay, it would have been a little harder for the Tridents to work. But now, air support's gone. Oh, if that chainsaw was not on hold fire, that would have been a nice setup. Ooh, nice use of... Okay, okay, so how is this going to work? There's a defender there. Stinger's not up yet. Chainsaw can't really help. The Raptors can't really help either. This is actually pretty good. Leveler, however, is a massive problem. Well, that stuffed that. That was pretty thoroughly stuffed. Good job, Levelers. I think Orphelius might be done at this point. They're pointing out the game is boring. Oh, well. Flipstiff wins! Win by boredom. I guess. Ah, eh, fair enough. I totally understand that. I I know that feeling. I know I know exactly how Orphelia's felt. Like, I can totally relate. If you're just... If you're not into it, you're not into it. Just don't hurt yourself. Like, take the loss and take a break. Anyway, that's totally understandable. Anticlimactic, but you know what? I sympathize. I really do. Uh. Anyway, next match is going to be on Living Lands between Flipstip and Ball of Doom, a player who I haven't really seen much, but who apparently is fairly good. So that'll be up in just a moment. Stay tuned. <laughs> 